Oh, this one has cherries too. I like those. That get I don't know why they have this foil on here, but when I first saw it, I thought there was going to be a cork. Because I know on some of their uh, other beers there are corks, and I was freaking out, but there isn't, and it's just there for prettiness. I like it. Hey everyone, I'm Catherine Decina Saplin, your beer mistress, and today we are going to be reviewing Moons Kirk Lambic Beer. This brewery is a family owned business that opened in 1822. It was founded by Franz Lindman in Glesenbeek, which is just outside of Brussels. Fun fact Lindman's is part of the Belgian family brewers. They are a non profit association whose objective is to promote historic brewing methods. The group is made of 20 independently owned family breweries. The label represents a Belgian beer brewed in Belgium by a recognized site. From an independent family brewery that has been operational for at least 50 years and is an original beer. Fun fact, in 1985, Michael Jackson proclaimed this to be one of the five best beers in the world. This Lambic comes with a story. The original Old Kirk was being exported to America by boat. However, the movement caused all the corks to pop, thus ruining the product. To prevent this from happening again, they developed an alternative production for the Kirk. Fresh, unsweetened cherry filtrate were blended with year-old Lambics. This was fermented and macerated before being pasteurized and shipped out. The corks didn't pop. Due to the filtrate and pasteurizing, the end product is sweeter and fruitier than Old Kirk. Fun fact! This beer has won one World Beer Award, two Beer International Recognition Awards, two World Brewing Congress Awards, and one World Beer Champion Award. So our beer is poured, and of course the first thing we're supposed to look at is the color. And it's a pretty color. I like these red colors. Um, I would say it's a more purple raspberry this week. I still like it. Let's smell it. Oh wow. Okay, this smells like cherries. Oh, that's a, that's lovely. Oh, it smells yummy. Cheers. This is really good. Okay, I'm gonna say this is my favorite now. Um, it tastes like cherries, but before you get the cherry flavor, you get this sour flavor. And I personally like sour things, so the combination, that's just, it's incredible. Yeah, this is really good. I'm enjoying it. Let's have some more finish the bottle off. Oh. Get the last drop. It's that good. Yeah, this is really good. I like this. This this gets like five out of five stars. It's a thing I'm gonna do now. That sour flavor is just, oh, that makes the beer. I like it. This has a more pronounced beer flavor in my opinion. I can definitely taste it at the end, but it's not that overwhelming bitter flavor that you typically have. It's still really sweet. Oh, I love this. I'm trying to remember what this reminds me of because it's there like on the tip of my tongue, but it's it's just it's just good. Oh, wow, this is so good. I know these types of beers are women's beers and yeah, let's just call this a Catherine beer and it's only for Catherine and none of y'all can have it. Cuz I don't want to share. Yep, this can be a woman's beer. This is awesome. Only for people who really like good beer. That was very enjoyable. Bravo. I wish I had more. That was delicious. I'm sort of sad. The experience is over. Well, that was really yummy. If you want to know more about Lindman or the Belgian Family Brewers Association, I put the links in the description below. The sites are available in Dutch, French, and English. Come back next Friday for another Beer Mistress review. And if you can't wait till then, check out my blog where I reviewed Lindman's Apple Lambic. Very good. Check out my sister's channel for her review on an American craft beer. 
subscribe to stalk me, follow me on Twitter, and I will see you tomorrow. Tote zines, my apple zines.